Hello, in this demo we will show you how to prepare your data with an interactive no-code experience in AWS Glue Studio. To do so, we play the part of a data analyst at a fictional e-commerce company which sells apparel and allows customers to leave text reviews and star ratings for each product. In this role, we need to pre-process raw customer review data to prepare it for downstream analytics. Not being a data engineer, we need a simple, no-code experience to complete our task. The new data preparation transform in Glue Studio enable us to achieve our goal. Let's get started and open AWS Glue Studio. We start authoring our job by creating a new empty visual ETL. Our data is stored in Amazon S3, so we are going to choose uh, Amazon S3 source node. We fill in the S3 URL and choose the data format that is Parquet. To continue, we add a new node and choose data preparation recipe. We can notice that to start authoring our recipe, we need to start the preview session. So let's choose the role that our admin has prepared for us and start the session. This can take uh, a few seconds. You have a progress bar that will show you the status. And as soon as the preview is ready, we can start our authoring session. Now that the data preview is ready, let's author the recipe. Data preparation is uh, an interactive experience. Uh, so now Glue is preparing the data frame, loading the sample data, so that we can analyze, interact with the data, and decide which transform to apply. This step can also take a few seconds. Now we can see our data set in a spreadsheet-like format and analyze our columns, checking the data types, for example, customer ID, but also product ID are strings, and they actually containing integer. We can also check some of the profiling statistics for each columns. And this can provide us some information on which transform to apply. The first one obviously is changing the data type for our customer ID. So we can select the column and decide to change the type. And we want to change the type to an integer. We can preview the changes. And if we like, we can apply it. Let's repeat the same steps for product ID. And apply. You can see on the right side that our recipe is being forming and we have already two transform there, changing type for customer ID to integer and changing time for customer or for product ID to integer as well. Continuing our analysis, we notice that product title columns contains values like business formal pants, uh, plain and business formal jeans patterned with the product name that is followed by a product attribute separated by a column. To better structure for downstream analysis, we decide to split the product title column on the comma delimiter to create separate columns for the product name and the product attribute. So let's select our column and define split on single delimiter. It's a comma. And we want to split one time. Let's preview the changes. We have now two columns, product title and product title two. 
let's apply and rename the columns. The new name is product name. And for this one, the name is product attribute. Let's check which other columns do we have. We can see some numeric columns like star ratings or uh, helpful votes or total votes uh, and some detailed columns like review headlines or review body. Finally, reviewing the statistics for the review year column we notice they contain a wide range of values spanning over 15 years. This makes it uh, very interesting for uh, using as a partition key. But we also notice that there are no information on the week number and day of the week. These are important uh, information because they could enable us to do an easier analysis uh, of seasonal and weekly trends. So we decide that uh, we need to add new der derived columns. So let's select the review date and extract the week number from it. Looks good, so we can apply. Let's rename the new column. and call it review date week number. Let's select again the review date column and extract this time the day of the week. Let's rename again the column as uh, review date uh, weekday and we are done authoring our recipe. At this point, we can look at the script and check all the transformation for the recipe steps that we have added. And going back to the visual canvas, uh, we can add an S3 target nodes. We fill in the S3 target location with the same bucket, uh, but with a prefix uh, that uh, mentioned that this is the Amazon reviews transformed. And we decide to create a new table in the data catalog uh, in the database data prep DB named Amazon reviews data transform. We also add the partition key or review year as we have decided. We just rename it job as demo data prep job we save and run it. When the job is completed successfully, we can go and check our table. We can look at the schema, see the column that we have added and the column that we have renamed and the changed into the data type. We can also go and check the data with Amazon Athena. We can run an analysis to understand the top three products uh, uh, by number of product count and star rating by name. This completes our demo. In this video, we have shown you how an analyst can simply prepare the data for analysis uh, using an interactive and simple to use uh, in visual interface in AWS Glue Studio.